welcome back to my channel. I'm James and this channel is all about great movies and great TV series for everybody worldwide. And I got an interesting review today. This is one that's kind of been brewing for a long time. I had announced this one originally way back in like January or February of this year. And there's kind of a history and story of kind of what's happened with this release. So this is one that took a very long time for me to actually get in for review. Now today we're going to be deep diving into I Dream of Genie, the complete series on Blu-ray. And this is one I really liked the series and always grew up watching it kind of on Nick at Night and things like that. And I really always enjoyed the series. My sisters and I watched it a lot. But I was curious how this was going to turn out when they're putting it on a Blu-ray into HD. There's a lot of interesting things that I found out when I was going through my exclusive testing on this. And that's something that if you're not subscribed to the channel yet, you need to go down there and hit that subscribe button and the bell notification. That's something I do exclusively for everybody worldwide. So no matter where you live around the world, I test every single set that I review to tell you what the region coding is on it, if it's region free and something you can import all over the world and own. Because as a lot of you know, with a lot of these physical media releases, sometimes they're only released in one country and I review things from all over the world. This is the first time that I Dream of Genie has ever been released on Blu-ray. So this is one that I know a lot of my international audience have been really requesting over the year, asking a lot of questions about this. And this one I have been asked and messaged and emailed more than any other show or TV series ever that I've done a review on this channel. And it's mostly due to what happened with this release. When it was originally announced, and I basically announced it way back in like January or February of this year, it got pushed back basically a couple of weeks, then a couple of months, then a month, then a month, and it just kept going back and back and back. And every time that I would get an update or there'd be an update that it was being re-released, it would get pushed back again. And I got a lot of messages and comments, I'll be honest with you. People would comment mad because something hadn't come out or mad at me because I hadn't done the review on it yet. And there's nothing I can do about that. There never is anything I can do about that. I get these when the studios send them to me. And I do want to say thanks to Mill Creek for sending this to me a week early for review. This should be coming out here in usually about four or five days by the time my review goes live for all of you to watch this. But I did get this in a week early for review from Mill Creek. And a big shout out and thank you to them for sending this to me. Now, as always, I will go through and do all my testing on it. That way I can tell you about the region coatings, region locking, whatever it has on it. I go through and test all the discs to tell you visual quality. And then at the end, I always wrap up all my reviews with a review score. So make sure you stick around to the end so that way you get my review score so you know how this compares to all of the hundreds of other reviews I've done over the years of different TV series sets so you know if this is something that's worth you spending your money on or if this is something you should upgrade over the original DVD releases. So make sure to stick around to the end so that way you don't miss out on any of this. Now talking about the history of this release, basically when Mill Creek originally announced it, um, I'm not sure if it was that they hadn't done all of the work on it or hadn't gotten all the rights for all the episodes or the music. I'm not quite sure how that fell in line because there really wasn't much announced every time that it got pushed back. It was just basically an announcement like after the release date, it would sometimes be like three or four days after it should have come out. They'd say, well, it's being pushed back another week or well, it's being pushed back another two weeks or well, it's being pushed back a month. And that kept happening. And to be honest with you, I kind of lost track. A lot of people kept asking me, hey, have you heard anything new about that? After about, I think it was like the seventh or eighth time it was pushed back, I kind of stopped keeping track of it because I figured when it shows up, it'll show up. And if it doesn't at that point, oh well. Well, it did show up a week early before this actually pushed back release date. So I started working on this and going through my review on this. And I will tell you, I did like the box set when I got it. And I'll show you here the box set real quick. It has a nice cover on it. I do like the artwork they used on it talks about how many discs are in here and I like what it talked about it. So I was excited about this when it arrived because I thought, man, it does look pretty nice compared to some of Mill Creek's original box set releases. I think they did a good job with this one. I like the artwork, the glossy artwork. And then when you go inside here, it's got this nice slip cover on it. And then it's got these nice discs. And I did like the cases. They're Blu-ray cases, says season one and two. And then this one is season three, four and five. And then when you look on the side here, they look real nice on the sides, the nice artwork on them. And they got a bunch of pictures on the back that I really did like. Some of them in black and white from the first season and then the rest from the color seasons from then on. And I'll show you inside what these look like here real quick before we get into the rest of this review. Now inside here, you get the discs and they all have the same artwork on them. They do say the episodes that are listed on them. It says season one, Sony and Mill Creek. It says region A on these. Now. 
I was curious if these are going to be region locked. I'll touch on that here for a second. All of the discs in this set, I went and tested them as I always do on every review. Every single disc in this set is region free. So for those of you that watch this channel from worldwide, as I do in every review, these discs are region free, every single one of them. They didn't region lock any of them. So even though it does say region A locked on them, and on the back of the box it says region A locked as well. That is not the case. Every one of these is region free. I tested them in all five of my test Blu-ray players, and I did them through all my 4K players, Xbox, PS5, region A, region B, region C players, all region free. So that's good news. And as always, I will have this exact box set linked from Amazon in the description section right below this video. You click that down arrow, it'll open up the description section, and right in that description section, I will have the link for this I Dream of Genie Blu-ray set. So those of you that live anywhere around the world, whether you live in the US or whether you live in Canada or anywhere else, you will be able to import it through that link in the description section right below this video. So if you're gonna pick this up, Make sure to go right down to the description section. I made it nice and easy for all of you to click on that and it'll take you right out to Amazon so that way you can import or buy this when it comes out and have it shipped to your home. Now, all of these have artwork on them for each season. So like season one has this artwork on it. Then when you get to season two, it has slightly different artwork on it and it talks about the seasons and the episodes listed on each disc. And I did like that part of it. And just showing you the next case here, again, you get season three, slightly different artwork on it, season four, and then you get to the end here, there's season five on it. All of the discs, as I did say, I tested and every single one of them was region free on this. There was none of them that were region locked, even though it does say it's region A locked. Now in this box set, you do get 12 Blu-ray discs and they're BD50s. And normally I would say that's okay if it wasn't for the fact of how much content is on each disc. And this is where we're gonna get into my screenshots. This is something I also do exclusively on this channel. And you'll see above the screenshots I'm showing you from the disc. And I'll be honest with you, those screenshots came out looking slightly better because of YouTube's algorithm and basically the algorithm of uploading and things like that. It slightly softened the image and made it actually look slightly better than what it does in person. So I will say with a caveat, when you're seeing those screenshots above, they do look slightly better than what they do in person. So take those screenshots with a caveat. In this set, they did over compress the discs. And it stinks for me to have to say that because I was really excited about this release, but there's a lot of things about this release that I tested and found out about it. So this series originally ran from 1965 to 1970. So it was on for five seasons and had 139 episodes total on it. They put those all onto those 12 Blu-ray discs. And a lot of the times they're somewhere between 13 to sometimes 16 episodes per disc. And to be honest with you, regardless of just how many episodes they stuck on it, just the way the content is presented and what they put onto those discs anyways, doesn't help it as well. And here's where the issue comes in. Compared to the original DVD releases that have come out of I Dream of Genie, you're looking visual quality upgrade of only 15 to at max 20% better looking than the DVDs looked before. And here's why. When I tested each and every one of the discs as I exclusively do all the time, what I found out is it's roughly an upscaled 720p with heavy artifacting and compression. So what that means is, is the image has just so many things on it that yeah, it looks better than the DVDs just slightly, but it's got so many other issues. The interlacing and the compression mess up the image drastically. And on those screenshots above, I just couldn't get it to come out very well showing you how bad the interlacing and just the jaggies and the blocks on it. Literally compared to those DVDs, like I said, I'm being nice when I say it's a 20% upgrade. I really think it's closer to around a 15% at most. So you have to go into it understanding that. And that's why I will always be honest with everyone on the channel. When I review something, even though something sent to me for review, if I don't think honestly it looks as good, I'm gonna tell you what I see. And this is one of those cases where it is region free and that's great. I love the TV series. I Dream of Genie is a great classic TV series. And to be honest with you, I kind of feel like it deserved a better release than this. I don't know that we're ever gonna get it. I think this is the best we're gonna get because nobody really wants to touch a lot of these old TV series. That's why they're rare that they come out a lot of the time. So yes, it is better than the DVDs, but it's not amazing looking. I mean, it just really, really had a poor image. 
Now you're going to want to make sure to stick around to the end of this review because I think you're going to be surprised by my review score. There's a lot of things that I thought about this after watching it and the things that compiled that I'm going to go into and kind of give you what my total review score is on this. Now if you enjoy this video and you enjoy my content, please consider giving this video a super thanks. Right down below this video, there's a heart symbol that looks like this. And when you click on that, that helps to give a super thanks to the channel. All of that goes right back into the channel, helps me to keep providing you all of this special, early and exclusive content. And that also helps me to keep this channel going. So if you enjoy my content, please consider giving this video a super thanks by clicking that heart symbol button below. Also, if you enjoy this video, make sure to give this video a like and a thumbs up for me. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell notification so you don't miss out on any of this exclusive content. And like I said, I put the links for all of these listed in the description section right below this video. So if you're going to pick this up, make sure to go down the description section right below and click through that link to Amazon. That does help out as well. Now on this set, it does have a runtime of 57 hours and roughly 55 minutes. Now that's 3,565 minutes total runtime. So it's a massive amount of content. And I tried to keep that in mind when I was going through this because you have to remember this is a budget Blu-ray release for the amount of content you're getting on this. And when I say budget, it's because Mill Creek priced this out right around $45 to $50 at most. And the link I'll have listed down in the description section below from Amazon has it actually on sale for right around 45 bucks. So it is a budget Blu-ray release and I think their price for it is decent. It's not amazing. I personally think for the quality of it and basically knowing that it's basically an upscaled 720p interlaced image with a lot of jaggies and things like that, I kind of feel like it should have been priced around 30 bucks. But I guess it's all based on how much of a fan you are of this series. If you love the series and you want even the slightest upgrade you're going to get from it, for example, it being on Blu-ray disc, having less space on your shelf, being in a better case than what any of the DVD releases had. Heck, the DVDs were basically released in just cardboard sleeves and they were horrible. So yes, you do get some small upgrades there. So that's why I said about a 15% upgrade in packaging, Blu-ray discs and quality. Then in that case, go ahead and get it. Now, audio wise, you do get it in DTS HD Master Audio 2.0 and that is the only audio option on it. You do get subtitles in English, but those are the only subtitles on it. So again, remember a budget release because they didn't do a lot of extra work to give you extra audio options in other languages or other subtitle options. It is in the original aspect ratio of 1.33 to 1. They didn't mess with it or change that at all. So I did appreciate that. And the first season is presented in its original black and white, basically image presentation. They didn't mess with that. They went and did the original basically black and white for the first season. Now I love I Dream of Genie. I think it's a great, fun, family, comedic, entertaining. It's got some romance in it, some adventure, but mostly just an all around 20 to 30 minute, just a fun show. And I think this did deserve a better release. Though I am happy to have it on Blu-ray, especially because my DVDs, I had some that were scratched and skipped and wouldn't play correctly. So at least in that case, it does play and you don't have the issues of getting as easily scratched because of a DVD. Though I will point out one of my discs in here was scratched. It did play fine. I watched through the whole disc to make sure there wasn't any issues with it. But one of my discs in the Blu-ray set was scratched anyways. Now, I don't know if that's because of all the delays and manufacturing issues. And I'll touch on the manufacturing delays and issues here for a second. Basically, my understanding was I had thought they were delaying this to work on remastering this and making it look even better. And I'm kind of surprised about something as well. On the bottom of this box set, it says presented in 1080p high definition, 1.33 to 1 full frame. Now, that to me is very misleading. This is not a 1080p high definition in any shape or form. It's not remastered and it's not even a full 1080p high definition presentation. So I don't know why they put that on the box. I don't know if that was an issue, an error. I don't know what. And I honestly don't know why this got delayed so long from back in like January or February, why it got delayed all year long because I thought they were adding extra things, special features, adding in movies and SD, any of that. There's none of that. It's literally just all of the episodes from the series kind of done with an upscaled transfer, trying to get it to look like 1080p, but not with the interlacing 720p image. It just, it's not. 
So I don't know what they were doing with that. I don't know what they were working on for the last year because to be honest with you, with this kind of a transfer, this should have come out at the beginning of the year because they didn't really do much of anything to it. Maybe they were working on the audio to make the audio sound better or to get rights for maybe some of the music in it. I did notice it did have a lot of the original music in it. I didn't notice much of that being changed, but I did not go through every single episode to check the music. I listened to it, compared them on some episodes back and forth to see what episodes had the original music, and a lot of them did. Um, though I can't guarantee that every single song from all 139 episodes is included on in this. That would be months of me testing and reviewing and going through every song and I simply don't have the time to do that. But basically most of what I saw a lot of the original music was present on this and maybe that's what they were trying to do is to get the rights to that. Otherwise, as far as the box set goes, I have no clue why this took so long. So my review score for this is a first time on the channel. This is only going to get a 6.2. And it's hard for me to say that because I love these old classic TV series and I really do enjoy I Dream of Genie. But to be upfront and honest with you, it's only a 6.2. And to be honest with you, that was pushing me to even get to that level. And here's why. I gave it mostly that review score because I like the boxing better than the DVDs. It is a slight upgrade. The audio quality did sound better because it's that DTS HD Master Audio 2.0 mix. It did sound better and clearer. So I gave it some points for that. I liked having it all in one box set. I like having it on a Blu-ray disc. So it got some points for that. And I like I Dream of Genie as a show. But everything else, that's why it's such a low score of 6.2 is because the image quality is just that poor. And a lot of you that have watched the channel for a while, some of you have gotten things like Diagnosis Murder. When I originally reviewed that many years ago on Blu-ray, that set, the first couple of seasons, were a very poor image. It was like a 720p interlaced upscale, and I kind of talked about it in that review. Later seasons, though, it did get better. Later seasons, that one would get up to, like, 1080i close to a 1080p image. This never does. Every season it's the same. Same image quality, same upscale, same 720p, same interlacing. Never changes as it goes on. So that's the whole way the whole series is. So that's why this got such a lower review score. It's not that the later seasons it got better quality or maybe they were working on it and it got better as the seasons went on. It doesn't. All five seasons look the same from beginning to end. The quality doesn't change. The quality doesn't improve. But as a fan, as a collector, I'm glad to have it. I'm just disappointed because it's not as great as I expected. It's not as good a quality as I expected. It's not as good a quality as I Dream of Genie deserved. And I really feel like for this quality, it should have been around 30 bucks. But I guess 45, 50 bucks isn't horrible for the whole series, all five seasons. There's none of the movies, so you don't get any of the movies in it. No special features. There's no added special features. And I'll show you the menu up above. This is what kind of surprised me as well. Uh, the menu, when you first pull up the main menu, basically Mill Creek's logo will come up. And Mill Creek's logo is in full 1080p. It looks great. It's clean. And I thought, man, this looks great. You know, their little image going across the screen. Then the main menu comes up. The main menu of this basically image here that I'm showing you above, that screenshot you're going to see there looks drastically better than it does in person. When that main menu came up, you can't even see her hair. You can't even see the lines in her hair. It's all blocky. It's all, I mean, it's, it's bad. It's just bad looking. And it's hard for me to say because I absolutely love the show and was excited about it. So that 6.2 basically goes into this saying, if you're a huge fan of the series, if you don't own the series, you don't have this on DVD and you just want to own the series so that you have it, then go ahead and buy this because 45 bucks isn't bad. But otherwise, if you're looking to upgrade this from your previous DVDs, if you have some that are scratched like me or broken or things don't play correctly, then I guess go ahead and spend your money for this. Otherwise, it's just not a massive upgrade and it's not something that you could really expect much out of it. And I think the box set is okay. It's just not great. It's not decent. It's not amazing. I just, it's a 6.2. Let me know if you're going to pick this up anyway. Let's let me know if you were excited about this release, what your thoughts are on it. I'm really surprised with how long this got delayed, that this is the quality it ended up being released at. Very disappointed. I wish it would have been a higher quality, but let me know if you're going to pick it up anyways. And if you are, that link is in the description section right below this video. So make sure if you go to pick it up that you click through that link in that description section right below. It takes you straight out to Amazon where it's on sale. That does help support the channel as well. As far as the other reviews I have coming out, I'm kind of hoping this is not representation of a lot of these quality of these series, especially like MacGyver I'm getting in and I'm getting the A-Team and Rich Man, Poor Man. And then I've also got the Andy Griffith Complete Series on Blu-ray. 
All of those are on their way and I actually got notifications as I'm filming this today that several of those have shipped out earlier and are on their way to me from all of the either broken ones or delayed ones. I'm actually getting some of those and I got shipment notifications just today. So for those of you that stayed around to the end of this video, that's a little extra hidden tidbit for you. I always try to give little extra things at the end of the video. So that way for those of you that stay around and watch till the end, you get a little extra information. But MacGyver's on its way here. That one should arrive first. Um, my understanding is, is that one was shipped out first. Then right after that, I should be getting the full Andy Griffith Blu-ray series as well. And then I'm understanding that A-Team and Rich Man, Poor Man should be coming after that. So they should be staggered here as they're coming out. But I was disappointed and I'm really hoping that Andy Griffith, MacGyver, A-Team, that those are full remasters and look really good. I really hope that they are not representations of what this looked like because it's a little disappointing to only get like a 15% upgrade in image quality. I mean, it's just, it's just not stunning and it's just downright kind of disappointing. Make sure to start the conversation in the comment section below and let me know if you're going to pick this up anyways. If my review has kind of deterred you from this or if this is something you're going to want to pick up and add to your collection anyways. As a collector, I'm glad to have it, but I just really, really wish it was better. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and a like for me. Make sure to hit that subscribe button and that bell notification. That way you don't miss out on any of these early or exclusive reviews. So make sure to hit that subscribe and bell notification. And if you enjoy my content, please consider giving this video a super thanks. I don't have a Patreon account. The only way that I can keep doing these reviews is from support from all of you my viewers and subscribers that watch my channel. By clicking that super thanks button, it lets you give a super thanks, which is like a tip to the channel. Just like when you go to a restaurant, you click that, it lets you give a tip of any amount. Even if it's only a dollar, that does help out the channel and helps me to keep providing you all of these reviews because this takes me a lot of time and a lot of work. So even though the review comes out on YouTube and it might be free to watch, it's not free for me to make these reviews. It takes me a lot of hard work and a lot of time to do all of these special effects and test and do all of these reviews for all of you. So if you enjoy these, please consider giving a super thanks on these videos when they come out. That's the same thing as a Patreon, and it allows you to give any amount you want. You can give a dollar all the way up to as much as you want, and that does help support my channel. And I wanna say thanks to all of you over the years that have given super thanks, that like these videos, and watch these videos, and subscribe to my channel. I really do appreciate it, and I hope all of you have a blessed day, and I've always got something new and exciting coming out very soon.